Have you ever wondered why traditional economic theories often seem to fall short when it comes to addressing real-world fiscal problems? Today we dive into the fascinating world of modern monetary theory, a school of thought that dares to rewrite the rulebook. Modern monetary theory or MMT as it's commonly known, is a perspective that challenges the conventional wisdom of fiscal policy and government debt. The core idea of MMT is that countries that issue their own currencies, think the US, UK, Japan, and Canada, have the unique ability to finance their debts without worrying about insolvency. That's right, unlike households or businesses, these countries can't go bankrupt. The principles of MMT revolve around three main pillars. The first is monetary sovereignty, meaning the theory only fully applies to countries that issue their own currencies. The second principle is the role of taxes. In MMT, taxes are not viewed as a means to fund government spending, but as a tool to control inflation and manage economic demand. Lastly, MMT views government deficits in a positive light, seeing them as a means to achieve full employment and manage the economy. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and join our channel. Your support keeps us going. Now, MMT offers several enticing benefits. It champions the idea of full employment, arguing that the government should adjust its spending to ensure everyone has a job, effectively making the state an employer of last resort. MMT also supports substantial public infrastructure and service investments, arguing that fiscal deficits should not deter public spending. Lastly, MMT allows for a flexible fiscal policy, enabling governments to respond to economic downturns by increasing spending without the immediate need to balance budgets. But, as with any economic theory, MMT faces its fair share of criticisms. Critics argue that unchecked money supply growth could lead to inflation. They also raise concerns that excessive money printing could undermine currency confidence and cause devaluation. Additionally, the flexibility offered by MMT could potentially lead to fiscal irresponsibility if not managed wisely. Output. Recent developments have also influenced how MMT is implemented. Zimbabwe's decision to introduce a gold-backed currency contrasts with MMT principles, offering a different approach to combat hyperinflation and restore economic stability. On the other hand, the advent of central bank digital currencies could revolutionize monetary policy, potentially allowing for more direct implementations of MMT policies like public funding and universal basic income. Several case studies offer insights into MMT's practical applications. Japan, for instance, has maintained low inflation despite high public debt, supporting MMT's argument that sovereign issuers of currency can sustain larger deficits. Meanwhile, Zimbabwe and Venezuela provide insights into the risks associated with expansive fiscal policies in an undiversified economy. Addressing these criticisms and mitigating risks involves strategic taxation to control inflation, targeted spending to align with the economy's productive capacity, and institutional reforms to ensure the transparent and effective implementation of MMT principles. In conclusion, modern monetary theory offers a transformative perspective on fiscal policy, it suggests that with proper management, monetarily sovereign countries can leverage their fiscal capabilities to enhance economic stability and public welfare. While MMT promises potential benefits like full employment and enhanced public services, it also presents significant risks such, such as possible inflation and political challenges. As with any theory, the proof of its effectiveness lies in its practical application and outcomes. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and join our channel. Your support is what makes these videos possible. Thank you for sticking with us through this comprehensive guide. We hope it has given you a deeper understanding of modern monetary theory. Now we'd love to hear from you. Do you think MMT could be a solution for economic disparities in your country? Or do you believe the risks outweigh the potential benefits? We encourage you to share your thoughts and join the discussion in the comment section below. Don't forget, your voice matters in these complex discussions. So, what do you think of MMT? We're excited to hear your thoughts. Stay tuned for more insightful videos on economics and beyond. Before we wrap up this video, we want to emphasize the importance of your voice in these discussions. Your perspective enriches the conversation and helps us all gain a more holistic understanding of complex topics like modern monetary theory. We eagerly await your insights on MMT. Do you think it could be a viable solution to economic issues in your country, or perhaps you have concerns about its potential impact? Whatever your take is, we want to hear it. So don't hold back, jump into the comments section below and let's get the conversation started. Remember, your engagement helps to make these discussions more meaningful and inclusive. So, let's dive in and explore the world of economics together.